excuse me, I'm talking like super, super low. Let me take this. Ooh. Okay, y'all, welcome back to me and crew. So before I get started, I just want to say that I am reviewing this Africa Pride um, more Moisture Miracle, if I can get the words out. But y'all, this is the shampoo, if y'all can see that. And then this is the conditioner, which I went in. I went ham on this conditioner. But this is the conditioner. And first of all, let me just tell y'all the smell. These things, like this smell like something I would want to wear. This smell like something I would want to spray on me. I can't really tell you or what to compare it to, but it's like... Um, it is kind of putting you in the mood for fall. I mean, I guess you can say it gives you like a warm floral scent. And if you know me, you know I love stuff that smells good. I love it. So anyway, let me first just say this shampoo, I've never really washed my hair with a shampoo that gives me slip. And my hands was just running through my hair. Like it was just... I was finger detangling and my hands just, and my hair was super dry when I washed it. So it, I was already feeling the morning. When they say moisture miracle, yes, moisture miracle. You go, African pride, you go. And then this conditioner, y'all, it's it looks thick. I thought it was gonna be real thick, so I took the top off. But as I was putting it in my hair, it's it, it is kind of watery, but it gives so much if y'all could feel my hair my hair is so freaking soft my hair is so soft so let me um y'all know i got to start off with my four sections and then i also have the coconut oil and biobab oil i think i'm saying that right it's a hydrate and strength and leave-in cream by african pride and it's in that same um Moisture Miracle line. And then I also have the Coconut Milk and Honey Hydrate and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. You have to shake it to mix. And it refreshes and softens natural coils and curls. And I'm going to try this. I do also have the Garnier Fruities Mor Moroccan Sleek um, Oil or like Serum. I'm going to be putting on there as well. So let me split my hair up. Okay, so I got my hair in the four sections. I left this out, so I'm just gonna start with this section. Y'all know I got to go in with my curls, oil, the um, blueberry and mint tea scalp treatment. This stuff saves the day every single time. So I'm just gonna put this in between these little four sections. Cause, oh, y'all. I still haven't found anything as far as washing my hair that keeps my scalp from like itching real bad. But this, this is like a miracle worker for me. So I'm gonna start off in small sections. I don't wanna use the comb to part, shake this up. Cause it says you gotta shake, shake, shake. And I'm trying to see, like, do I see anything, you know, kind of like settling down at the bottom? I don't. So, but it says to shake to mix. So, let me just shake it up. Do what it say. And my ends really need to be cut. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't going to take my tangle teaser. Ooh. Okay. Mm. It's all right. I really don't know what to say other than it's all right. Um, let me put some of this leave-in cream on here. Because my hair is super thick. And I'm just going to take about that much. And it's 
It's kind of thick, but not really. And I'm just putting this all over that part. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about this product alone. I'll say that. I mean, it's making my curls curl up. It's not bad. But, yeah. I don't know about this by itself. So, let me put some of this. I'm just... Put just a little bit. I just want to add some moisture. My hair has been so dry, y'all. I'm really thinking about cutting, not doing like a big, big chop, but probably cutting at least an inch, at least an inch, y'all. So I'm going to also take my Super Grow Conditioner with jojoba oil. It is gluten-free and paraben-free. And this is the Honey and Ginger Kind by BB, the Browner Brothers. I'm just going to add just a little bit of that. And I know y'all probably like grease. Yeah, it's pretty much grease. I need something a little bit more heavy than this cream. I need my braids to be juicy. And this is not a tutorial. So I'm going to do that all over. Folk, really focusing on my ends, y'all. I really need to at least get a trim. Okay. It's curling up now. I ain't saying it don't bring the curls out, okay? Because it's trying. Okay, y'all. I wanted to come on here and say I really apologize. <laughs> Excuse me. I really apologize how it's like cutting off the bottom part where you cannot see. It does get better, so please forgive me. And then also, I didn't mention how the cream itself was giving me slip. I know I said that about the shampoo and conditioner, but the cream itself was giving me slip. And the back of my hair, I have different textures all over my head. So the back of my hair, it always, I don't know, for some reason, it gives me a hard time. And that's way before I colored my hair or anything. That's just my hair texture. I have looser curls in the back, and then they get tighter as I... Uh, move towards the middle and the front of my hair but anyways I may chime back in I don't know but I definitely want to make sure I said that I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video so yeah I'm going to do these little plaits all over I'm not doing them real big I'm not doing them big but I'm not doing them small either so I guess in between like medium size my hair is so thick anyways I really have to make sure I take okay sections because I want some real good definition. So let me remind y'all, it is like, time is it? I know it's after three o'clock in the morning and I could not sleep and I've been wanting to do my hair and do this review because these were gifted to me, uh, these products. This is not sponsored. I mean, African Pride, if you want to sponsor me and send me some more things, you go right on ahead. Or anyone else for that matter. I want to challenge anybody out there, any products, product line out there, I want to challenge them because, like I said, I have yet to find anything that really um, puts that juicy moisture in my hair. Um, like I said, don't get me wrong, these products really did make my hair soft and the slip was on point. I will say that I have not dealt with a company or a, a product that have done that for me. So, yeah. And also, I have not found anything that I wash my hair with that keeps my scalp from itching. So, if y'all got anything, y'all got any tips or 
something tell me i have washed my hair with apple cider vinegar that's the only thing so let me take that back i have to wash my hair with a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water and um uh, i guess because it's clarifying my scalp and my hair follicles then it really takes the itch away but other than that nothing else i wash my hair with helps so if y'all can find anything or recommend something, please let me know. But yeah, I'm just going to keep braiding. All right, I'll come back when I have some more done. Okay. Gosh, y'all, so I got two more. <laughs> I'm sitting up here looking like my little brother. Yeah, I got two more to do. But y'all, when I say these things are juicy. They're juicy. And baby girl has not woken up. Oh, I don't want to jinx it. Let me knock on wood. So, um, I really like this spray. At first, I wasn't liking it. I really like this spray because instead of when my hair gets dry, instead of using water, I can use this spray to just kind of add a little bit more um, water or dampness. Make my hair just a little more a little damp. Because you know when your hair is wet or damp, it absorbs the products better. So I really like this spray, y'all. I will be using this spray again. Okay, we had a little snafu. But like I was telling y'all, I might want to cut my hair just to cut a, a couple of, at least an inch off. So this spray would be good for refreshing my curls. And then I noticed, y'all, when I add this to my hair, I could just start running my fingers. It it does not just sit on my hair. And I have low porosity hair. It does not just sit on my hair. It actually, let me show y'all. I can do it better. I can show you instead of telling you. So let me split this up. These might be three because I don't want them. Yeah. Okay, so I just sprayed some of that spray. Let me spray a little more. And I guess I'm doing like the LOC method, liquid, oil, and cream. So that's my liquid. This is my cream. And much how I just, I can just run my fingers through my hair. And then I'll take a little bit of this and I'm putting just putting just a little thin line and y'all it just it's like butter it makes my hair feel like butter so I'm just gonna break this up y'all at the ends y'all see that I'm twisting them and then finger coiling that way I have a little curl at the end of my braid out so all in all, I give these products like all together. I gotta give it a nine. I gotta I gotta give the props where the props is due. If my thing is leaning, my phone is like leaning. So if it looks like I'm leaning or I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to hurry up before this girl wakes up because it's almost feeding time. But yes, y'all. I would definitely recommend these. So I'm gonna let this sit in. It's um, it's really Sunday morning because, like I said, I started after two o'clock in the morning. So I'm definitely going to let these sit in all Sunday and probably Monday too because I want some real good definition. And then I will take it down and let y'all see how it's looking. Like, look how this just curls my hair up I'm just here for it do you hear me like it just curls my hair and put a little bit of this oil or serum y'all know I'm heavy-handed which I have to be because my hair is super thick and like I said it's low porosity and um, also I uh, you know, I've dyed my hair in the past, so I, I, I pack on the conditioners, the creams, the oils, the serums. I pack it on. 
Only thing I don't do a lot of is shampoo, which is why I was really, um, I was really surprised with that shampoo, y'all. It was giving me some really good slip. I was like, wow. I'm going to take this down because it just looked really fat to me. Look how, look how the definition is already coming through, y'all. Do you see? Do you see? Oh, these gonna be so juicy. <laughs> so I will be back to show y'all the takedown. Me doing the baby hairs. I ain't really got no hair, baby hairs, but you know, we make it do what it do. So I'm gonna tie this up, and then I'll show y'all the takedown. I'll be back in like two more days. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, Mia Crew, welcome back. As y'all can see, it is Tuesday. I put these in, what day was that? Sunday morning, early, early Sunday morning, because you know, with a newborn, you got to get it in where you can it. <laughs> Not like that. All right, guys, so I have my, I showed y'all this last time, the um, Garnier Fructis Moroccan Sheer or Moroccan Sleek uh, oil treatment. So I'm just going to more so put it on my fingertips rub that in real good and rub it all over these bad boys focusing on those ends ladies and gentlemen oh yeah i got these scrunchies from um ross i got six of these and these are like the silky satin so they're not cotton does not break your hair i'm actually going to stretch my roots with these but anyway i'm just going to put these up As I take these down, taking them down, taking them down. So yeah, I know a lot of people don't like a uh, frizz. I necessarily don't care for too much frizz. I just don't want it to be like a lot of frizz. But a little frizz never hurt nobody. All right, y'all. These are the last two. I am really bad in taking down a twist out or a braid out because. I'm impatient. I have no patience. I cannot sit there and uh, take down the same little strands that I started with, the same three legs that I started with, and then I um, a two strand twisted the ends and finger coil. If y'all remember me seeing see me doing that, well, some of them I went back and three strand twisted just because I thought the ends was too fat and plump, and I wanted that definition throughout the whole braid i didn't know i could three strand twist i think i'm gonna try that next time so comment down below do you want to see me do a three strand twist that will be a struggle but anyway i'm liking this definition y'all it's just the right amount of frizz like i said little frizz never hurt anybody i like that spray the leave-in conditioner spray and the leave-in conditioner cream because when i say my hair is like so freaking soft I never really get this much definition unless I use a gel along when I uh, with my other products. So for me to get this type of definition, like do y'all see this? For me to get this definition without using the gel, thumbs up African Pride, thumbs up. I can't find my pick. Y'all know how much my purple pick means to me because that belonged to my um, sister who passed away. So I can't find my pick. Pray that I find my pick. Let me get my wide tooth comb. So I never really stretched my hair um, like using the banding method. So I wonder like, do I need to fluff first and then band it? Or do I need to band it and then fluff? I'm gonna fluff first. <laughs> Yeah, I overthink stuff all the time. I think that's enough. That's good. Okay, I'm putting a little bit more of this, y'all, because the weather is changing. And you know how y'all want your hair to dry out. Plus, I put that color on there. As y'all can see, it's trying to revert back to that honey blonde. Y'all see the ends on here? So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take, I really like my front. Okay, I'm just gonna take like this. 
I'm just going to throw it in like that. Okay. While I finish getting ready. Also, y'all, I want to show y'all this little hack. It worked for me, so maybe it works for you. A lot of times, I don't care what kind of edge control I get because I really love this. She is bomb. And I really love the True Edge controller. This is um, this is in Sugar Melon. I really love this one. Can y'all see that? But I always get a white residue. I don't care what kind of edge control I use. I always get a white residue. So what I have been doing, either I'll take some mousse. Or I'll get my Extreme Wet Line Gel. Okay, and I go over it after I define my baby hair. I take a little gel, see that? That's just a little bit. And I just kind of pat it. And I don't get the white residue. I see just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit. But it really helps cut down on that white residue that these edge controls leave behind. Okay, y'all, I really like my hair. It turned out so freaking good. So tell me, y'all already know. Tell me what you think. 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 Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Anyway, so tell me what you think, guys. Um, oh my gosh, I just really like my hair. So yeah, this is probably going to last me the rest of the week. Today is Tuesday. Um, if you made it this far, that must mean you love me. I love you too. Guys, I love you, man. Like, I couldn't do this without you guys. Okay. Okay, so no, y'all for real. Tell me what you think. Um, leave me a comment down below. Do you think I should try a three train a three three strand twist out? Do you think like I would have more definition? And if so, I'm trying to figure out what other products I can try. I did get some more um products, so what am I out of breath? Tell me what you think about this and comment down below. Stop what you're doing right now, comment down below. Should I do a three strand twist out? So I need y'all to like, like, like. That really helps my algorithms. That really helps with somebody else finding my video helpful. Because even if you feel like this didn't help you, maybe you can pass it along to somebody else. Maybe sister girl needed or brother man needed to know what exactly to do. I wish y'all could feel how soft and moisturized my hair is. I even felt that after I shampooed, my hair was super, super dry. Okay, I'm rambling. So. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I love you, Mia Crew. I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you for watching and peace.